workouts, and helpful advice. Add this video to your favorites. It will guide you when you train. Next exercise, high knee march plus curl. Go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Don't bend your head. Keep it constantly in line with your back. Try staring at a fixed point. Don't lift the shoulders. Keep them down and relaxed by concentrating on your biceps. Don't swing your back. Try keeping your abs tight. Don't bend your wrists during the movement. Keep your hands in line with your forearms. Next exercise, side step plus crossing arms. Go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Be sure not to raise or lower your elbows. Keep them constantly at shoulder height. Don't bend your arms, keep them constantly flat. Don't curve your back, keep your abdomen tight. Don't bend your head, keep it always in line with your back. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, side step plus leg rotation. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Don't arc your back, keep your abdomen constantly tight. Don't bend your head, stare at a fixed point in front of you to help. Stop. Next exercise, side step jacks. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Do not bend or curve your back during the exercise. To avoid errors, keep the abdominals tight. Don't bend your head. Keep it constantly in line with your back. Stop. Next exercise, side step plus butt kick. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Do not bend or curve your back. Maintain your torso straight by staring at a fixed point in front of you while contracting your abdominals. Don't bend your head. Try constantly looking one step ahead of you. Don't turn your knees inwards or outwards during the descent phase. Stop. Next exercise, squat plus side step. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try bending less your legs and taking smaller steps.
Don't bend your back. Keep your abs constantly tight to stabilize the spine. Don't turn your knees inwards or outwards. Keep them constantly in line with your toes. Be sure not to exceed the tip of the foot with the knee. Don't lift your heel. Keep your foot constantly well rested. Stop. Next exercise, squat plus calf lifts. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try bending less the legs. Don't pass the line of your toes with your knees during the descent to avoid joint problems. Don't curve your back during this exercise. Keep your abs and glutes constantly tight. Don't turn your knees inwards or outwards during the descent phase. Stop. Next exercise, half squat with ankle touch. Three, two, one, go. During the descent, do not take your knees over the tips of the toes. Don't turn your knees inwards or outwards. They should constantly be in line with your toes. Next exercise, standing cross crunch. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try not lifting your leg and concentrate on your bust. Keep the abdomen constantly tight. Do not strain your neck. Stare at a fixed point in front of you to help you. Stop. Next exercise, standing crunch with outstretched leg. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try keeping your legs bent and touch your knees with your hands. Keep your shoulders and head straight throughout the whole exercise. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you. Be sure not to bend your leg when you lift it. Next exercise, standing knee touch crunch. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Don't arc your back, keep your abs tight. 
Avoid violent impact with the floor during the descent. In order to do this, always land on your toes. Stop. Water break. Three, two, one, go. Next exercise, high knee march, plus crossing arms. Three, two, one, go. Be sure not to raise or lower your elbows. Keep them constantly at shoulder height. Don't bend your arms, keep them constantly flat. Don't curve your back, keep your abdomen tight. Don't bend your head, keep it always in line with your back. Stop. Next exercise, side step plus front punch. Three, two, one, go. If you are unable to complete this movement, try slowing down the pace. Do not bend or curve your back during the exercise. To avoid errors, keep the abdominals tight. Don't bend your head, keep it constantly in line with your back. Stop. Next exercise, front lunges plus punch. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try bending less the legs. Do not touch the ground with the knee of the back leg when you bring down the pelvis. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Do not bend or curve your back during the exercise. Keep your abdominals tight in order to be able to do this. Next exercise, squat plus hip extension. Three, two, one, go. If you are unable to complete this movement, bend your legs less. When you are performing the descent, be sure not to exceed your toes with your knees. Do not curve your back while performing the exercise. To be able to correctly do this, maintain the abdominals and the glutes well contracted. During the descent, do not bend the legs inwardly or outwardly. The knee should always be in line with your feet. Don't lift your heel off the ground during descent. Keep your foot constantly well placed. Don't bend your head. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you.
Move slowly during both the descent phase and the ascent to increase the effectiveness of the exercise. Next exercise, standing hip abduction. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try keeping both feet on the ground before lifting the leg. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't turn your head to not risk losing your balance. Stare at a fixed point in front of you. Stop. Next exercise, side step plus hip extension. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Be sure not to curve or bend your back while doing the exercise. To facilitate the movement, don't rotate the pelvis so as not to diminish the effectiveness. Don't bend the leg and foot, keep them flat. Don't bend your head, stare at a fixed point in front of you. Exercise, standing hip abduction plus back cross lunges. Three, two, one, go. If you are unable to complete this motion, try simple back cross lunges. Don't place the knee of the back leg on the floor to avoid decreasing the effectiveness of the exercise. Don't lift your heel off the floor. Constantly keep your foot in position. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't bend or curve your back. Keep your abs constantly tight. Don't exceed your toes with the front knee to avoid joint problems. Constantly keep your abs and glutes tight. Stop. Next exercise, high punch. Three, Two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Don't pass the line of your toes with your knees during the descent to avoid joint problems. Don't curve your back during this exercise. Keep your abs and glutes constantly tight. Don't turn your knees inwards or outwards during the descent phase. Stop. 
Next exercise, standing cross crunch plus front punch. Three, two, one, go. If you are unable to complete this movement, try slowing down the pace. Do not strain your neck. Stare at a fixed point in front of you to help you. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go! Keep the abdomen constantly tight to stabilize the spine and avoid injuries. Stop. Next exercise, crunch. Three, two, one, go. If you can't, outstretch your arms along the body and place the palms of your hands on the floor. Do not strain your neck when you lift your shoulders. You can help by staring at a fixed point on the ceiling during the movement. Be sure never to lift the lower back off the floor to avoid back problems. To be able to correctly do this, constantly maintain the abdominal muscles tight. Stop. Next exercise, crisscross. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try gently resting your heel on the ground when outstretching the leg. Be sure not to lift your lower back off the floor. Keep the abs constantly tight. Do not strain your neck. Staring at a fixed point in front of you may help. Next exercise, donkey kicks with one leg bent at 90 degrees. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Be sure not to curve your back during the movement. Don't put your knee on the ground when you take down the leg. Keep the contraction constant. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't turn your hips laterally. Your back must always be very straight. Perform the exercise slowly to maximize the effectiveness. Stop. Next exercise, side hip abduction with leg at 90 degrees. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try resting the foot on the ground after turning down the leg. Don't move your back. Place your hand in front of your bust for stabilization. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't turn your head. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you to help. Stop. 
Next exercise: side hip abduction plus lying leg kicks. Three, two, one, go. Don't keep the supporting leg straight. Bend it to have greater stability. Don't stretch out your foot. Keep it constantly flexed. Don't move your back. Your head, shoulders, and pelvis should always be in line. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't turn your head. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you to help. Don't turn your back. Keep it always perpendicular to the floor. Stop. Water break. Three, two, one, go. Next exercise back elongation. Go. Don't look forward. Relax the neck by bringing your forehead to your knees. Don't bend your arms. Keep them constantly outstretched. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, stretching quadriceps. Go. The knee of the back leg shouldn't touch the ground during the workout. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. The back leg should be outstretched in order to stretch the quadriceps. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, arm pushback. Go. Don't force the push. Stop when you feel that you've reached the limit. Keep a slow, regular pace or else you might risk joint problem. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Try out our full workout plans. More info in the description below.